Ace Town, Lies Only Forever. Jamel Charlo calls Billy Joe Saunders a P-U-S-S-Y for his gripes over Canelo and the ring size. And he says that Canelo is pound for pound the best in the world right now. We're going to talk about that and more. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel. Also, use my link in the description to get TubeBuddy. If you are a YouTube content creator, you need to hear this. TubeBuddy is a browser extension to help you on YouTube by optimizing your videos and making a lot of different things in the upload creative process very smooth and a lot smoother. I've been using TubeBuddy for years, started off with zero subscribers. Now we're over 200,000. So consider TubeBuddy, click the link in the description. Now, Jermel Charlo called Billy Joe Saunders up uh, and he said it because there's now complaints being lodged from Saunders, his father, Billy Joe Saunders camp fight week for a Canelo fight. And they're complaining about the ring size is way too small and everything is set up against Billy Joe Saunders. So right now, roll the clip. So is Canelo going to fight Billy Joe Sanders even though the ring too big? I heard some bullshit happen where the ring was like supposed to be 24 and then they made it 20. So like, come on, Billy Joe, you on some bullshit, nigga. Pussy, you scared of that nigga Canelo. You put that smoke. <laughs> Canelo by far the best fight in the world right now. I ain't going to lie to y'all. That's what it is. And the best should fight the best, so... Now, you guys heard it from Jermel Charlo. That was his thoughts. He was on Instagram live on his social media verified page. And he said that Billy Joe Saunders is a P-U-S-S-Y. He said that because he, he don't want that Canelo smoke for real. And he's, you know, in Texas where Charlo is from complaining about the ring. So Jermel Charlo is of the thinking, according to this video, that Billy Joe Saunders just really don't want the smoke. So he's he's scared of you know the reality is setting in and this is kind of what i said to you guys um my thing is this canelo alvarez is a great fighter oh actually speaking of that let me let me go over jamel charlo says that canelo's the best in the world he says that canelo's pound for pound so that was a high praise from a fellow fighter so people know that canelo's a good fighter now the thing with canelo is this he's the a side he's been in the bigger events Floyd Mayweather fight, Kodo fight, Triple G fight. I have no guys, have my. Right? He'd been in these types of big events many a times. And one thing you got to give Canelo a whole lot of credit for is even when he was young in these big events, like the Mayweather fight, he was 23. So very young, but he's always handled himself um, in a professional way. He's been very mature and if you look at him like on the ring walk and the media days and fight weeks, it just looks like nothing. You could tell he's been fighting for as long as he's been fighting. Canelo, I was born ready. He's been fighting since as a pro since he was 15 in Mexico. And when you go through that experience fighting in Mexico, sometimes they match you with older club fighters or whatever. But you could be 15 fighting somebody who's in their 20s or even 30s, right? So you have to learn real quick. That's why you see some fighters that come up in Mexico. Sometimes they have early losses or knockout losses because who knows, you know, what if you're 15, 16 and you have to fight a grown man? You know what I mean? That's, he, the guy's already coming to his man's strength and you haven't. Like if you look at Orlando Salido, who's from Mexico, and he got knocked out in his pro debut. And then he later, later went on to beat Lomachenko. So... It's definitely possible, but sometimes you have to go through those learning curves when you're put up against bigger people. But the point I'm making is Canelo Alvarez is a consummate professional and Billy Joe Saunders, all the gripes, all the complaining, all the complaints that he's lodging, it doesn't really look good. He's been doing this for like the weeks leading up to the fight. Another UK fighter, I told you, in my opinion, when people were talking about this fight current day, I seen zero, like really no way that Billy Joe Saunders was going to beat Canelo. And 
I was firm in that. Like sometimes there's a fight prediction. You can make a case for both guys. But I didn't see what Billy Joe Saunders was going to do to beat Canelo. I don't think he knocks him out. You know, Canelo showed a good beard, things like that. So that means he would have to outbox him, you know. And I didn't really see that either. So this just it just looks like Billy Joe Saunders, in my honest opinion, it looks like he's reality is set in. His O is about to go. He's an undefeated fighter, but he definitely has a, a shot to lose. And even if you want to say you're being set up, like, I, I have so many things to say. For one, everybody involved in the main event has previously tested positive and failed for a banned substance, both Canelo and Billy Joe Saunders. And Billy Joe Saunders hangs out with people like Tyson Fury, who's been accused of cheating with Deontay Wilder. So it's mighty ironic that everybody is... Um, turning saint and saying oh this is wrong look at canelo canelo is the a side right so at the end of the day you know a side there's a side leverages anybody who fights canelo you know there may be a rehydration clause you have to be ready because he may you know give you a shorter camp you could have a quick turnaround from your last fight and then he says hey i want to fight you um now they're saying the ring size these are all things that you know if you're not going to sell out for money that you would have to consider when fighting Canelo Alvarez. So you sign on the dotted line that you, you ready, then you're putting yourself in harm's way or you're putting yourself and saying you can meet these expectations. So if you don't have a specific clause that your team has argued for, that this ring has to be 24, like if you just have um, a good faith statement or something where they said, oh, the ring will be this size then that's not good enough. So it doesn't sound like Billy Joe Saunders' team is that thorough or his lawyer or whatever. If this is a demand that he needed, he needed the ring to be a side, or it shows that he doesn't have the, the leverage in the negotiations. So that's the thing with the fighter. Like, you can't just be willing to sell out for money and then complain about it when it doesn't work your way. Now you see they got you trapped in a... A smaller ring and, and now you're you're kicking up dust threatening to go home before the fight that's that's really a black eye for the event it's not a good look so if it ain't ain't in writing i don't know what you could really do if you don't have have it like a separate clause or have it notated in the contract because per texas rules the ring could be from a certain amount of feet to a to a, a larger size like i have it actually i looked it up in texas the ring can be 16 feet and no larger than 32 feet square within the ropes so his well within the texas commission guidelines the ring it sounds like they have but billy joe saunders knows the end is near and that Canelo is coming so I agree with Jermel Charlo I think he's he's scared and he's scared of letting that O go he don't want to get embarrassed and it's fight week and now everything's you know all those feelings all the anxiety all that adrenaline all that emotion is, is pouring out let me know what you guys think do you agree with Jermel Charlo do you agree with your boy Box of Ego let me know in the comment section as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is Ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support.